In this video, I'm going to show you how to dump your GameCube IPL for use in Dolphin Emulation. <laughs> Dolphin Emulation has come such a long way since I first started covering it in 2014, and as such, you can make it a near-perfect GameCube replacement, including the GameCube's boot animation by using the GameCube's IPL file. Now you can source the IPL file through a number of various means across the internet, but for those of you that own a real GameCube and are interested in getting the one from your system, this is the guide for you. Now before we get started, this is going to require you to either have a hardware mod or to have the ability to soft mod your GameCube. So a mod chip like the Xeno GC and a Swiss boot disk, or something like the GC loader. Or if you want to use a soft mod game like Wind Waker, you can buy pre-modified memory cards from Castlemania Games now that have a Wind Waker soft mod exploit built onto them. And you can get this with the SD to SP2 adapter or not. You will need some form of SD card adapter as well, either an SD Gecko or the SD to SP2. If you still happen to have an old GameCube action replay, that can also be used to trigger an exploit to load Swiss. Or if you'd like to make your own save game exploits for a game you might happen to already own, if you don't want to do the Wind Waker one and have a pre-made memory card to save some money, you can make your own pre-modified soft mod memory card using a modified Wii if you happen to have one on hand. There's a number of different games available to use as a soft mod exploit, and with each one it will have the links and various things you need to get it done. Now, I'm not going to cover how to exploit your GameCube any further than this. There's documentation in the exploits on how to get it set up. So we're just going to go ahead and move over to required programs. So one of the first programs you're going to want to get is the most up-to-date version of Swiss, if you don't happen to already have it. But links to everything, as always, will be in the description below. But grab the latest version of Swiss. Next, we're going to get the GCSD IPL Dumper Program by Derkasan. Derekasan? I'm sorry for not knowing how to pronounce your name, but grab this as well. Now, with both programs downloaded, just get them extracted. I like to use 7-zip and extract them to their own subfolders. Alright, next we're going to prepare our SD card. So I'm going to start with GC Loader first, just because that's what I use primarily. But anyway, this is my GC Loader GameCube memory card. So, I have an older version of Swiss already installed on here, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in the latest version of Swiss. And then tell it to overwrite my old one. So there we go, I'm now using the most up-to-date version of Swiss. And now I'm going to grab the GameCube IPL Dumper uh, homebrew program here. I made a folder on my GameCube memory card called Homebrew for all this kind of stuff. And I'm just going to rename it so I know what it is more easily at a glance. I like having clean file structures. But there we go, my GC Loader memory card is now good to go. Now, if you are going to be using an SD Gecko or SD to SP2, just make sure you have that formatted as FAT32. And then we just need to add in our most up-to-date version of Swiss. So grab the latest version of Swiss from the Dole folder and rename it Boot. That way, no matter what exploit you're running, like if you're running one that's already on a GameCube memory card, one from a burned disk, Swiss will check for this boot.dol if I read the documentation correctly and boot the most up-to-date version. Either way, if you're already booting into Swiss, it's not too big of a deal because you can still launch into the homebrew program using an outdated version. This is just kind of a nice little way to get you up to date. But I'm also just going to... Uh, Make another folder here named Homebrew. I'm just going to drag that IPL file inside and I'm just going to rename it IPL Dumper again just for my own personal OCD-ness. There we go. But now you have your SD Gecko or SD to SP2 memory card ready to go. But if you're using GC Loader, get that memory card plugged back into the GC Loader or SD Gecko, SD to SP2 placed where they need to go as well. But now to navigate Swiss. If you're on GC Loader, it'll boot into your GC Loader automatically, and you can navigate to your homebrew folder and start the IPL dumper. And you'll get a nice little notification telling you when it's done. 
Now, if you're running from SD Gecko or SD to SP2 and it didn't automatically boot you into the proper folder, you could press B and then press A on this little eject symbol. And you could choose which device you want to load into. So I have an SD to SP2 here. I unfortunately don't have an SD Gecko at the moment. But once you have your proper device selected, you'll see the folders and files that you've placed in it. And you can start up your homebrew folder if you did that method like I did and then start the IPL dumper program. And then again, you just press A to dump the IPL. And when it's finished, it'll say done. Now there is another method of dumping your IPL. If you have Swiss, you can head into your Swiss options here, and then you can go over to the advanced settings and you can enable file management, then save your changes. And now when you, um, press this eject button, you can head over to this system tab and you'll see that there's a number of different things in here, but you could grab the IPL.bin file. So press your Z button and then press X to copy it. And it'll ask you for a destination device. So if you have a GC loader on firmware 2.0 or later, you can copy it there. Or if you are using an SD Gecko or SD to SP2, you could go and choose that directory. But regardless of method you have chosen to use, after the IPL has been copied over to the SD card, just pull it out of your GameCube, put it back into your PC and you'll have a wonderful IPL.bin file that you could just drag out of the memory card and put on your computer. So the homebrew program by default stores it on SD Gecko or SD to SP2. Or if you have a GC loader on version 2.0 or later and you copied it through Swiss itself, you can just grab that right from the GC loader program. But either way, we now have a backed up IPL.bin that we can use on Dolphin. You can use it with Nintendo on Wii or Wii U. And best yet, you dumped it from your own own console, which is just Kind of a fun DIY project, if you ask me. But to now use this IPL file within Dolphin, you need to navigate to where you have your Dolphin saves at. Typically, by default, this is under your Documents page. I made my Dolphin install portable so I could keep it in a cloud storage. So you need to find your user folder. You'll see a folder in here named GC. Then you just need to put your IPL file in whichever region you are in. So for example, I have a US uh, GameCube here, so I'm just going to drop IPL.bin right there into the USA folder. And now when I open up Dolphin, head into Options, Configuration, GameCube page, and untick Skip Main Menu. So that way every time you boot up a game, you're going to get that IPL boot menu. So for example... There it is. So just a nice way to get a more authentic GameCube experience on your Dolphin emulation. And again, this can also be used on Nintendo, but I'm not covering that part of it today. But that's going to do it for this one. As always, if you happen to have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try to help you out. But I do have a couple of big favors to ask here at the end. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like or dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's tutorial. And hit that sub button notification bell so you can see when new content goes live on the channel. Goes a long way to helping us keep the place going and bringing this content to all of you. If anyone is interested in further helping support the channel, you could also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to keeping this place going and again bringing this content to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers. Thank you for being amazing and helping keep us going. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.